Welcome back guys to another episode of Super Duper and today is pretty much going to be the top 5 unique ways of opening a beer can or a beer bottle, alright? Without further ado, I got myself a 6 pack of Canadian Molson right here and we got the 6 pack Stonewall Light. This is very similar to Corona but slightly a little different but they do have the hard cap on top so you can't open these with your fingers, your hand you have to open it with a utensil. So some of these techniques are already done by some other people, but there are two techniques I do have that I originally done myself and I experimented and it worked. All right, so I'm gonna present the first two that I've done myself. First technique is gonna be the scissor technique. This one's gonna be really easy, okay? Just get yourself a beer bottle here. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take the scissors, plant one at the bottom and one at the top, and all you have to do is just flip it over like that and it'll easily just pop off. Okay, this is the one that I just came up with myself, right? Here, this is very simple. Here, watch, here you go. And just twist off, like that. Boom, easy, very easy. Going on to the next one, and this is gonna be technique two, right? This is the one I came up with myself after experimenting. Get yourself another hard cap bottle and in a beer can. All right, this is what I call a beer can pop. So what I'm gonna do here is use these two. I'm gonna use this beer and I'm gonna use this bottle. And I'm gonna put them, merge them together to pop open this can. How does it work? This is how it's gonna work. So you see the outer rim of the bottle? This is just perfect to dig underneath the cap right here. So what you wanna do is just do the same thing as a lighter. It just say you didn't have any lighters around. There's absolutely nothing wrong. There's no scissors, no knife or anything like that. So if you only had a beer can right here, this would be the perfect opportunity to use it. So what you're gonna do is just place the beer rim underneath, hand around it, and just pop it up, okay? So what you wanna do is not get it in too deep of the rim because it's gonna make a hole and it's just gonna squirt everywhere. So just, just right above the rim. All right, here we go. There you go, easy. So the third technique is going to be the knife slice, all right? So get yourself another bottle. Okay, what we're gonna do is get a knife as well too. Any knife should work. So we're gonna lay the bottle like this, at this kind of angle, and we're just gonna take the knife and just rocket ship all the way to hit the cap, till the cap blows right off, okay? I'm gonna show you guys like here. Okay, so we're gonna go like here. That's it, just lay the knife down. Don't lift up a little bit, it has to be all the way down and just go hard as you can. Not too hard to break off the bottle, right? Okay, so here we go. Easy. Oh, that one was hell of interesting. Now this is a fun technique to use. This one's a really fun one, but it works better outside so you don't pop somebody in the head, you know, and make too much of a mess on the floor. Okay, now going off to the fourth technique. I know you guys seen some of this before in some videos. Um, this one's pretty unique. Um, I like this one. This is the thumb beer shotgun, all right? So what you're gonna do is just take this can here and we're gonna use our thumb to poke a hole in it and shotgun it. So what you wanna do is position your tap the right way, which is downwards, lean the bottle in an angle, make sure the air bubbles are right here where most of the air is. Take your thumb, press it all the way down till there's a hole. After there's a hole, they're good. What you can do is just shotgun it. And just easy. I never tried this before. This is gonna be the first time doing this. So here we go. I gotta stand up a little bit for this. Okay, so here we go. I think I'm gonna use my left. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. There you go. With your thumb, easy. Very, very easy. So you see the inner side there? That's where the airspace is. So you wanna take your thumb and just push it in there, easy. So now we're gonna do shotgun. Okay. Last but not least, um, fifth technique is pretty much gonna be the table. Usually when you're at parties, you don't have anything to open with. The table is actually a really good tool to use. So what you wanna do is just get another beer again. So what you wanna do is lay your cap on top till it's hooked onto the table. And what you wanna do is just pretty much smack below the bottleneck right here. So if anything, the cap should pop and you should be free to drink. Here we go. Oh, awesome. Oh, all right. 
a little bit messy, but uh, these are five unique ways that you can use. Uh. Oh. These unique ways of opening the beer bottles and beer cans are actually pretty awesome. So when you guys are out at a party, you're going to show off to friends or if you guys are just having a fun time or you don't have anything to use, these are some techniques you can use. Some of these are actually pretty useful. So uh, the beer can, this one was a pretty unique one. I'm going to show you guys, you can still open it even if the beer can is empty. This technique, what you got to do is just crush the can all the way down. And then what you want to do is do the same thing. There, easy. Either the beer can's full or empty, you can still use this. So these are really useful. Thank you guys for tuning in. These are just my personal favorite ways to opening a beer bottle and beer cans. Um, the thumb one, actually this is the first time doing it, so I'm not gonna lie about that one first time. I enjoy that one, so I'm gonna keep using that one frequently when I do shotguns, awesome. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so we know when I upload the next video. And you guys have yourself a wonderful weekend. Peace out.